Welcome back to Kitty Plays Inherit the Earth Quest for the Orb. I am Nighty, the Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. Last time we were exploring these ancient ruins and we were finding a door with a, a weird panel with a slit and blinking lights. I personally guess it's a keycard reader. And also, there was a screen in there saying evacuate. So this might give us hints to theorize about what actually happened to the humans. Well, let's explore this world more because we couldn't open the door. We don't have the key card yet. Let's see what lies be beyond this mountain range. Follow the water here. Can't venture into these into these deep woods. Only a little bit, and then it's uh, then they're becoming a, a blocking thing. Oh, there is some kind of um, oh. This looks to be pretty wicked looking emblem. This looks like this is the home of the tri wolf tribe that we have been warned of. No. Can we take the Better weapon? not, Gar would notice. Ooh. This is this is Gar's hut. I wonder if this was made by the humans. Hmm, it says ancient trophy, so it might be a human trophy. We are currently not just in the baddest wolf tribe home, but also in their chieftain's hut. Ugh, doesn't he ever clean this place? You'd think that a bandit leader could at least afford servants. <laughs> that sheep looks pretty done to me. They don't return. Shh! Quiet! It is I, Shiala. I've come to free you. Wait, what? And not a moment too soon. How did you know where to find us? I knew you would wind up here eventually. You were no match for these wolves. It's nice to know we inspire such confidence. <clears throat> there. I've cut the vines on the cage. You must hurry. The Dark Claw are out hunting now, but they will return before long. Oh, I think I know what happened. See, I guess the game didn't anticipate us going there, but rather going somewhere else where we should have been captured by the wolves. And our wolf lady friend here freeing us. And since I entered this hut, which is the prison, it triggered the cutscene. I hope I didn't break the game, to be honest. Let's try the last doorway over here. Still nothing. Okay, so this was supposed to be... Maybe maybe it'll trigger again because we haven't been captured yet. Maybe we will get captured and in the worst case we won't get freed again. In the worst case we won't get freed again, yeah. There's something shiny down in that nest below. Hmm. What do you know? Some sort of metal? It's hard to tell from up here. It does look... It says card key already, so... I just want to say it does look like some kind of card. Ah! There's 
Some. Some. It's. It's a thin card with metallic markings on it. Definitely. Do we get it? Maybe we can use the cable somehow as some some kind of. I'm thinking of the word right now. The thing that you catch fishes with. A fishing, a fishing line, yeah. A fishing line. So let's try this. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Riff is the hook. Okay, that works. What is it? I'm not sure. It's very thin and flat, and it bends. Don't oh, break it. Good. We needed one of those. Okay. Let's see where else we can get it. Oh, I just want to follow the shoreline for now. There is something there. Ah, that's that's the waterfall again, okay. Now we can get into that house. Check out what's behind that door. I think the building that we could enter was the first one here on the right side, so going all the way to the right, all the way around this building. It looks like like some it's a very big building, right? Okay, we can enter here, use the key card. Use the key card on the reader. Something clicked. Everything is still operational. That's that's kind of weird. But yeah, maybe this tech is so far advanced that it just stays operational. Oh great! Let's hope that this is not a maze. And it is. You know what this means? Let me get back to the start. And yet another time of map drawing is upon us. Let me get the Sharpie again. Which, of course, did end up on my paws. And let me start the drawing again. Again with my right paw. So, let's assume that this is the wall that we entered through. And this here is the entrance. Then we start out with one straight hallway. And then, if, of course, I was now looking in the other direction. A narrow. So use the keycard. Something clear. So at its end, there was a crossroad. And if we follow the left one, we see a turn to the right. Which, if followed, turns into a turn to the left. To the left. And an arrow pointing back. Well, I hope this doesn't mean anything, but... I want to know what this, what there is, and there is another turn to the right, which brings us to a straight hallway that in turn leads us to a turn to the right. Did you notice the blinking lights in the hallway? 
here. Either. That's kind of neat. So the, so the whole aesthetic of the whole thing drastically changed. Now we're from this nature-driven world. We actually switched over into a cl like clean industrial, uh, not industrial, but laboratory um, world, which is like the the difference between the human. And the morphs, morphs. That's that's one thing that I really like. Actually, this painting, this difference, showing the morphs are like organic, natural, and the humans are mechanic, clean, um, sterile, even. And of course, old and, and broken, as you've seen, we couldn't enter these buildings. So this, I guess, just leads us back around. So straight one, and then we're at the crossroad from the beginning again. Which we now will leave to the right. To go into a hallway. And I hope that there is something at the end of the last uh, tunnel that we can... the last hallway, which is that one. Yeah. It is... It is the entrance to a room. Neat. Oh, look, this looks very broken. Look, there is there is a picture of a human. What a strange creature. Probably somebody's pet. <laughs> and there's the letter J. So today's episode has been brought to you by the letter J. Can't open this. Spider webs. The computer looks terminal. like a writing desk with machinery in it. A computer screen called a black window. Looks like some kind of black glass. Strange machine. Looks like a writing desk ah. with machinery in it. Okay, it's the desk and a triangular device. A strange metallic triangle. Hmm. I wonder what it is. Let's just pick it up. It's much... No, I'm talking about the triangle. There it is. Okay, doesn't look like anything that I know. Can I open the machine? I can't... No, because there was a hatch here. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's more... More of those strange... No, I don't think that there's more to find here. It's still daylight out. So let's head back. So this screen only exists once. Exists once. Custodial. I hope I pronounce it correctly. I don't know what it means. Maybe this would give a hint to what there actually is. Or what this actually is. No, this was wrong. This, seems, this should be the correct way. There we go. And here we go again with a camera image being corrected. Just checking if the audio is set up correctly. Looks like it. I hope the audio did work before uh, in, in, in the 
in the mode with the TV screen because I did double check it and usually when I don't double check something, something is broken. Okay. I can walk to the dam. I thought I couldn't. I think... I think before this would have been the place where we were captured and we triggered the release. Captured. So we skipped this scene. Now we know where the electrical power comes from. Look at this futuristical building. I've never seen a door like this one before. I wonder what ancient mysteries lie beyond it. This must have been built by the humans. Clearly. It seems to be stuck. Okay, we can't open this door. This bridge is pretty old. Yet it still carries us. Luckily. Okay, now she's gone. Do we dare entering? I'd say we do. Be quiet. If she's around, she shouldn't hear us. There's a cave inside. Oh, look at this that. This must be where Shiala lives. Amazing. Who would ever think of looking here? No one. That seems to be the whole point. What are you doing here? We only entered this grotto out of curiosity. We meant no disrespect and certainly no harm. Had I wished to hit you, I would have. That was merely to get your attention. Now tell me, what is it you're here to learn? Let's talk to her. Of which pack are you a member? I belong to no pack. I belong only to myself. I was born of the forest wolves. A group of wolves broke away from the pack to form their own group. They promised freedom from pack responsibilities and a new and better way of life. My parents left the pack to go with them and took me along. And was it better? It was fine at first. Then the power struggles began. There were disagreements, fights, and finally, bloodshed. One wolf the strongest and most vicious, assumed leadership, and all who opposed him were killed, including my parents. May I assume this new leader's name was Gar? That's right. When I ran away from the hunters, Gar swore revenge upon me. He told the forest wolves that if I was given shelter or helped in any way, he would burn their villages to the ground. So I became a fugitive. Fugitive on, a run, on the run. Let me put the sharpie away from earlier. Okay, so much for that. Tell us about the hunters of the Dark Claw. They are sadistic bullies who live to kill and enslave. They are totally without honor and a blight on the name of Wolf. But they are very successful and must have spies everywhere. This Gar must be a clever leader. That is part of the puzzle. Gar is a stupid brute. They are all stupid brutes. I cannot understand why they've been so successful unless... unless... Unless there is someone behind Gar. Exactly. But no one has ever been able to find out who. Do you know anything about a raccoon? There are rumors in the forest of an evil spirit which has taken the form of a raccoon. Evil spirit? Bah! We do not believe in spirits. Then you do not believe in life. 
All nature is but spirit which has taken form, some for good, some for evil. But you have never seen this raccoon. I have not, but I don't have to see it to feel its presence. Something evil is out there. I know it. Okay, so she has heard of the raccoon and they actually believe it's some kind of evil spirit come to life. Is that your own vegetable garden? So, what of it? This is my lair, my lifestyle. Of course, some of my best friends are herbivores. I know herbivore. It's just that I like vegetables. What's wrong with herbivores? I've been one all my life. Plants, creatures. I can eat either way. Enough. I'll eat what I choose. That's all. Indeed, an admirable ambition. <sighs> Please forgive our intrusion. We will leave now if you wish. Perhaps it is I who should ask your pardon for my hasty reaction. You are not my enemy. You may stay and look around if you wish. I'll be right here if you need anything. Okay, so there is one thing that I noticed while we were talking, or, or rather noticed right at the beginning, which is this door. It's called an iron hatch. Actually, I don't think, I'm pretty sure that um, Shiala did not build this. Also, what is this? I do not know. It is a type of rock I have never seen before. Sometimes I hear strange noises coming from behind it. And what is this triangle-shaped depression? Perhaps some artwork. Not very interesting, though. That's what I meant. Also, there is a triangle-shaped depression, which looks a lot like a keyhole to me. So this triangular device might be a key. Nothing is happening! Hmm. Perhaps that is not where the device goes. It must go here. The fit is too perfect. No, there must be something missing from the device that causes it to work. Hmm. Okay. So the device is not working. Ah, I forgot something. Maybe... Let's see what they say. This must be where that she-wolf sleeps. Now that was mean. She's there and she's she has a name. She's called Shiala. Um, maybe I should have opened the... And that was the battery for my extra light. So now I'm the Black Panther Kitty in the dark. So... What if that key card opens also opens the door up the dam? The door to that white building. That's something I didn't try last time. Well they were up and they didn't close the blinds. See, now that the light from the outside does no longer hit the camera, you can see me again. Because it looks like this door has a slit here also, so let's try using the card key with the door. It seems to be stuck. No, doesn't work either, so... I'm pretty sure we will be able to get into the white building. Also, I'm pretty sure that I remember that we need to be in there. Some point. Okay, so this is the part of the game which I remember only vaguely. But I also remember that this made, back then, this made a very big impression on me. It was also the, 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 the whole part was so mystical. I could really feel how um, 
how curious I was to find out what had happened to the humans, what, what was going on there, and how much more could I find out about them. This is the dock where we arrived. Wait a second, the trophy must trophy must be worth something. I don't suppose that we need to get back. Oh ah, ah I just wanted to check if we can go back. And look who we found. Hello. I would be most interested in seeing what you have. So then, what will be your pleasure? An oil lamp. That actually looks like something that I could use if it's dark. I can't. I don't get why I should need the others. Excellent choice. It is a mere three pennies. Well, my friends, it looks like we can do no good here. Unfortunately, we have nothing of value except our treasure. Treasure? Oops. I say treasure? Forget it. We don't really have a priceless statuette dating back to the time of the humans, which is guaranteed to make us rich beyond our wildest dreams. Just forget I said anything. Priceless <laughs> statuette? Rich? Yes. I can help you. I will take the statuette back to the known lands and wait for you there. Then you do not feel trapped. How do we know you will not sell the statuette and keep the money for yourself? I will, uh, I will, uh, I will give you the lamp as an act of good faith. Very well. I shall place the statuette in your charge. See that you guard it well. Oh, I will, I will. I shall guard it with my very life. Farewell, friend Kylas. Safe journey, my friend. I bet we never see him again. So that's the North Island. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. So now we have an oil lamp. It's a fine brass oil lamp. Full of oil. So if there's any dark places, we can now see them. Since I know that the game doesn't let us get into a broken state. We will need the lamp. And we wouldn't have needed all the other things. Dark places... I want to check out the... Oh! I want to check out the ancient ruins again. If maybe I missed something in that room. But I think I'll have to wait until the next episode to do that. So yeah. We have explored the ancient ruins once. We have figured out a way how to get inside there. We found that key card. We have been freed from the wolf tribe that we haven't been captured by. So we found a little glitch in the game. They could have made it that if we hadn't been captured and entered the wolf tribe t uh, town, that they capture us then with a different cutscene. Um, but I guess they just missed that combination of things happening. And we bought our, ourselves a little lamp, gotten friendly with Shiala, and, well, to be honest, I actually don't know what we need to do to progress. So I'm going to check out that room, because I still have that cable. I feel like I need the cable to transport electricity or something, still. We'll need to check that. And, um, yeah, we'll try something what else we could do in the next episode. Commence the dice and bye-bye.